recording this time. Yay! Yay! It's going to stop recording. So, Emily, this time we're recording. <laughs> I know. I'm doing this tomorrow with my team for the first time. So I'm like, oh my God, I hope I don't screw this up. <laughs> um, well, I hit record last time, but I did not do it. So I got that glitch out of the way. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, I would like to welcome everybody to the call tonight. Um, I'm really excited to have April McDonald with us. Um, April has been a coach for almost two years. Um, she is currently a two-star qualifying diamond because she's a rock star and totally killing it. Um, last month, she qualified for um, Success Club 57 in her own business center and what was Maddie at? Like six or eight? What did he end up with? Yeah, he had eight. Yeah, so totally rocking it. That's awesome because she also works her husband's business center. Um, but for those of you who don't know April, um, she met Kelly through Instagram and um, signed on to be a coach when she had like $7 to her name and kind of took that leap of faith and put herself in a little bit of debt by putting the challenge pack on a credit card. Um, immediately went to um, success, this um, first steps to success with Danny Johnson and started her training with Kelly um, and very quickly earned back that initial investment um, in her business um, and has actually grown her business to the point that she retired from um, retired part-time in October of last year and set a goal for retiring full-time um, as of January. So she is now a full-time um, Beachbody coach mm -hmm. and um, a two-store qualifying diamond. And um, April actually started um, with a lot of um, self-image issues and some eating disorders and really struggled with her self-image. Um, and has been able to overcome that and share her story and um, be in a much healthier place and a much happier place. So I am very excited to have her as our guest tonight and um, to hear what she's been up to and what she's finding to um, create the success that she's having in her business. So I'll hand it over to you, Ms. April. We're excited to listen to what you have to share with us. Thank you, Corey. Um, thank you so much for asking me to, to chat. That was awesome to know that somebody else wants to listen to me ramble. So, <laughs> um, And Corey's going to be hosting one of my calls, too, so you can jump on that. She'll be doing that March 12th um, for me. So, But it is so cool to be able to get, um, gather testimonials from other people because there's so many times where you're going to hear people that say, I don't have the money and you can be like, uh, let me tell you about my friend April because that's, that's what I do for myself. And I tell my coaches, like, if you don't have a money objection when you started, if you were just like, yeah, I have it in my account, whatever, then tell them my story. So just like, um, you know, Corey said, I was at a job. I hated it. My boss like treated me like a dog, like snapped her fingers at me. I felt like I got my master's to um, fold towels. I was working at a corporate wellness gym and I was just miserable. I came home and I cried and I complained to my husband about how much I hated my job. So, um, I would, when I, I found Kelly on Instagram, I knew that I was, I couldn't be more unhappy with where I was and I just needed to make change. So as, as scary as it was knowing that my account was probably going to be negative in the next week when my student loans came out and I had to put it on a credit card because there's no other way that I'm magically going to come up with extra money doing what I'm doing now. So it just spoke to me so much. I loved me thinking about feeling fulfilled by helping other people. And I knew I just needed to just do it. And I always tell people like, I always think like, I wish so much, um, that there, other people like that is because that's what it, and I wish so much there was more people like me but I know there's so many people that are like I need to research I need to talk to the husband so the one thing I can help you with is that if you get somebody that's like you know I just don't have the money what you say is 
girl, my friend April had $7 to her name and she signed up and she was able to pay for her wedding in cash and quit her job. So, you know, you can't get if you don't invest. So I, that's why I think it's really important for you to listen to other people's stories and remember them so that you can use them in times when you need them. And like Corey said, I was able to go part-time in October. I was making enough that I was able to um, leave that income. And with going part-time, I literally had to take a different position. So I took a $4 an hour um, pay deduction. Cut. Yeah, pay cut. I couldn't <laughs> think of the word. So just to do that. So not only was I losing half my hours, I was losing $4 an hour, which is a lot of money on a paycheck. Um, but I knew that I couldn't, I couldn't grow my business any farther until I did that because I was staying up till like one in the morning and then getting up and doing it all again. So it was a huge help to go part-time. And then Kelly, I had shared with her the year before that in January of 2015, I'm quitting my job. And she literally kept saying that. And every time I saw that post, I was like, I'm going to freaking kill her. Why does she keep saying that? There's no way I can quit my job in January. Um, but it, it pushed me. And so I was glad that she, I shared that with her because I probably would have not actually done it if she hadn't been like making these lavish posts that I was in every single, what is Beachbody coaching webinar? She was saying, Oh my girl, April's quitting her job in January. So that was a huge push to me and I wasn't comfortable doing it, but I did it anyways. So I went to Danny Johnson for a step to success two weeks after I signed up and I was still very broke. Um, it was in Pittsburgh, which is where I'm from. So I, I was able to just buy a ticket again on the credit card and then pay. I right off that put hundreds of dollars on the credit card, but I was like, I'm just going to, and it did because, um, after coming home from Danny Johnson, I increased my income by nine times. So I went from like $32 to like $280 or, you know, something awesome. So and that was in a week because I took everything that Danny Johnson said and I went into like speed mode and I was determined to get that money back. I was freaking out about the amount of money I put on my credit card and I was just talking to everybody. And I probably said a lot of wrong stuff. I probably vomited Beachbody on a lot of people, but sometimes, especially when you're learning, you just got to do that. Because I got a lot of no's, but I got a lot of yeses too because I was talking to a lot of people. And personal development did help me learn how to talk to people better, you know, with Danny Johnson. I think that that was a huge push, but it also just motivated me that it's not going to get done on its own. You got to make it happen. So that's why personal development is so great. And I think it was such a incremental part of my success. Um, okay, so I wanted to share with you five things that I feel like have got me to where I am today. And the first of you are Emerald and in that group. Um, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about this in the week four, I believe is when I go. And so I'm going to be talking about free groups. My free groups have been so successful for me because if anybody tells me, no, I don't have the money. If anybody tells me, no, not right, right now. Now, okay, great. You know, um, well, I'll check in with you. Here's a couple of my budgeting ideas. This is what I've done to save money. And in the meantime, I'm going to put you in our free exercise group. We're working on buns and thighs this month. How does that sound? You know, we have a free exercise group every month and it changes every month what the exercise is. Sometimes it's thighs, sometimes it's arms, you know, whatever. So we're always getting people into that free group. And when you see po people posting a lot in that group, I'm like, that person's going to be a coach. And that's how I see it. And, and that's how I literally and, and, and telling my girls, if you see somebody that's posting a lot, keep in touch with them because I work, mark my words, they will be a coach. So that's why I love it so much is because you can really weed out who's going to be, you know, coach material and then who is still posting, but needing help, they're going to be a customer. Um, and even though some people that you know are going to be coach material, just want to be a customer first. And that's okay because the best coaches often are customers first because they are focusing on the coaching aspect because they already understand the product. Now I wasn't a customer first and I did just fine. So you don't have to say, Oh, you need to use the product first. But, um, I do notice that the girls that were customers first often feel a lot more comfortable talking to people about 20 minutes because they've done it. Steel plan. Um, I believe it's to access it and change it to your own. I, I just threw stuff together. It was some of mine. 
some stuff from my blog. It was some stuff from people I found on Instagram. And I just started asking people, Hey, if you're, are you interested in my free four week clean eating meal plan? And, um, I also inserted like, you know, I'm so glad you're starting Shakeology. You know, you can replace one of these meals a day with Shakeology. So I wrote it as if it was to one of my clients. So I told them like, Hey, this is what I send to my clients, but I'm happy to share it with you too. If you're curious what Shakeology is, um, you know, you can always just ask me, I drink it once a day and it's awesome, but um, it's a meal replacement shake. So if you see that on the menu and you're confused, that's what that is. Um, so that has kind of been like incremental for me because everybody wants something for free and people want to trust you. And I mean, I get a lot of people from Instagram and they don't truly know me. So it's awesome to be like, Hey, let me offer you this for free. We, you can get into our free group and we can work together. And then, you know, if you're interested down the road, I'm happy to work with you. So that develops trust and they know that you're not just like looking at them as a price tag. So anytime somebody tells you no, get them into your free group, whether it's an exercise group, the first Monday of every month, we run a free seven day clean eating group. Um, new coaches, a clean eating group is so easy to run. You guys can get together and do this. It doesn't have to be something Corey puts together. My coaches all do this. I don't have any um, input in that. I'll post some pictures in the clean eating group when it's running, but we just have a general group and it's, we just keep adding people to it, but it only runs the first week. Some people post here and there, but mostly they know the first week is when we're sharing our meals and everything. So um, it works out really great and people really love it. Clean eating is something that a lot of people just don't understand. So they get a free meal plan when they get in there. So it's, it's really helpful too. Um, and then the other free group we do is coaching at a glance once a week, uh, once a month. Uh, we do a five day group and each day we have a morning and evening post and there's some videos in there and it kind of covers all the objections that people say why they can't be a coach. They're not fit enough. They don't have you know, enough time, all this stuff. So we cover all those objections. So by the end of the five days, if they've like completed everything with us, they can't say like, oh, well, I'm not fit enough. We can be like, yeah, well, remember on day three, did you, did you not check that out? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's been really successful. We've had, we probably set, um, signed on like 17 to 20 coaches after our first coaching at a glance group with, everybody in our team. So it was very successful. Um, the second thing, so the first one was free groups and my free meal plan. The second thing is Instagram to Facebook conversions. If you don't have an Instagram account, I definitely, um, I don't know if Corey still does her imitate my Instagram group. Um, but it's very helpful. And even if you just listen to Kelly's made a, um, presentation about it and um, she, she's been asked to talk about it at events and she, Kelly's just, you know, an Instagram guru and we learned it from Shalene Johnson. She did an awesome Instagram impact training that Kelly and I did and then, you know, it just really worked wonders for Kelly. She went with it. So um, definitely talk to Corey about listening to that presentation. But when, with Instagram, I'm always doing call to actions. So or calls to action, I guess. <laughs> so what I'm doing in my post is if I'm talking about 21 day fix or something, I'm going to say, you know, for more information, add me to Facebook at www.facebook.com slash april.pinky.5. And how you figure out um, what your URL is, is if you're on a computer, just go to your profile and whatever you see at the top is your, your profile so that you can, you know, make that on Instagram. You can make that your website if you don't have a blog, things like that. Um, but I'm always telling people, if you want to join our free clean eating group, add me to Facebook. I'm always, always, always telling people to add me to Facebook. And I get so many more people from Facebook, excuse me, to ask me questions that are originally met on Instagram. People aren't always like, Oh, I want to join from Instagram. But when they start seeing your post every day and they start seeing you just being consistent and they see pictures of my dog and they see like, I'm goofy and silly you know, they want to know more about what I'm doing and they feel more connected with me. So that's why I love Facebook because, you know, you can talk to people individually. You can't be like, oh, so what are your goals on a message on Instagram? They're not likely going to be like, well, I'd like to get rid of this muffin top. You know, that's embarrassing. They don't want to be talking about that in public. 
So that's why I'm always trying to get people from Instagram to Facebook and those free groups, again, are very successful at doing that. Um, so yeah, and you know, you do want some motivational stuff, but always make a call to action if that's, you know, if you're making a coaching post, don't just say, coaching's changed my life, I, I, I love it so much. What should they do after? If they're interested, what should they do? So always focus on a call to action with a challenge group post or um, a coaching post. My number three is my contact list. This has been said and said and said, and I did not even put it into action until June of last year um, when I went to Summit. And people had told me forever that I needed a contact list. And I was like, I don't need it. I got it all up here. You know, everybody thinks that they have a contact list. It is a game changer when you write it down. Um, I always tell my new coaches in their first week, their homework is to make a list of 150 people. If they don't, if they're not doing the three vital behaviors and they don't have a list of 150 people and they're not posting regularly on Facebook, I don't get on the phone with them again the next week because that's your homework. I'm not asking you for like, you know, quitting your job and doing this full time. I'm asking you to put in what, 40, 40 minutes a day to making sure you post on Facebook, making sure you reach out to three to five people, making sure you, um, you know, do your workout and do your personal development. So I make sure that they are doing that without fail um, before I get on the phone with them. If it's somebody that's like, I'm doing this for the discount, I'm not gonna be like that gun ho. But people that tell me they wanna work the business, I'm like, I'm not gonna continue this mentorship until you do that because I know that you can do it and you need to keep yourself accountable. And when, since I'm, it, you might think like, geez, this chick is intense, but it makes people get it done. And I make Success Club non-negotiable for my team if you want that free vacation, you need to hit Success Club. That's the end of the story. If you want free stuff, you need to hit Success Club. If you want to get your stuff paid for, you need to hit Success Club. So when you tell, talk to your new coaches and for yourself, Success Club is non-negotiable. Why would you not want a free trip? My husband and I are going to Cancun in like 43 days for free, basically, with Beachbody. So we I got the trip paid for. And I got or also earned seven hundred and fifty dollars in travel cash. So our plane airfare was just a little over eight hundred dollars. We have won a five day all inclusive trip to Cancun, all you can eat, all you can drink, plus airfare for less than a hundred dollars. I, I can't even fathom that because that would easily be over three grand. And we just got married last year, you know, we just did our honeymoon. Vacation was not something that was in our budget. So now we're gonna get to, you know work on that food baby and drink all we want on the sun and sand and um, Kevin and or Kelly and Kevin and Danielle um, from our team and her husband are going as well. So it's going to be a really good time. And I literally paid like what 60 bucks or something for it. So I just can't even fathom why people wouldn't want to do that. So the success club trip, if you don't know in 2016 is a uh, Royal Caribbean club. Uh, cruise to Jamaica, Haiti, and somewhere else. Do you know, Corey? I literally keep saying somewhere else because I know it's somewhere I, I can't. I don't, off the top of my head. It's like something I can't pronounce, but it's a, <laughs> it's somewhere in the Western Caribbean. <laughs> it's awesome. it's going to be awesome. And you can win travel cash there that you either spend to get to where the cruise leaves from or spend on stuff on the boat. I mean, there's like, like literally they sell diamonds on cruises, so you could get diamonds with beach money money, you know? So it's so cool. Um, I just kind of tell people like, why would you not hit success club if it's going to get your Shakeology paid for and it's going to get you a free trip? Um, because traveling is really important to me. So that's why I like amp that up to people because I love traveling, but I also love paying off debt. So it's not really possible for me to do that right now. Um, so back to that contact list. I got a little excited there. Um, <laughs> it should always be growing. So if I have somebody that likes my posts or comments on my posts and they want to join our clean eating group, they are going onto my contact list. If I have somebody that adds me from Facebook to Instagram, they go to my contact list. Some people are really awesome and have it on their computer. Mine is it on, is on like three ring, you know, three, what am I trying to say? Whatever, notebook paper. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have, I literally have seven pages front and back of people. And that's how big my list is because it's been growing since June. Every single time somebody ask me about a product, likes my post, comments on something and they're not on that list or adds me from Instagram or a referral somewhere from another friend, they go on that list. And 
I, that helps me when days where I'm like, oh my gosh, who do I talk to? I pick five to 10 people from that list. And I actually do this the night before. And I take those people and I put them in my planner for that day. These are the five people I'm going to reach out to. Then I go through my planner from the week before. And I usually highlight people that I want to follow up with. I pick five people that are highlighted yellow and I put them on that day. So before I even wake up, I know who I'm going to reach out to and I know who I'm going to follow up with. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to reach out to more or get other messages, but that's like my non-negotiable. These are those people that I'm going to talk to. Um, so yeah, so those follow-ups and daily conversations, those help so much because the one thing that hurts you the most is if you're, you're doing, you're doing your workouts, you're drinking Shakeology and you're doing your personal development. But if you're not doing the inviting, that's going to hurt you the most. Because if I am like not doing what I need to be doing each day, that's when I'm like, okay, I hurt crickets in my inbox. This sucks. I don't have anywhere to go. But when you're constantly talking to people, you constantly have leads of people that are maybe interested in the 20 minute fix or, you know, something. So that's the most stressful thing to me is when I don't have something in the works. And I was so burnt out with February. I literally kicked my butt and I worked like nonstop. And I took a Saturday and a Sunday off almost totally from Beachbody, which I almost never, ever do. And I think I posted a couple times and that was it. And it felt good and I needed that, but it was so stressful later on in the week because I was like, I have no conversations going. So for me, just taking one day off from messaging is, is not possible because I want to have those messages in the works. Now, I'm not telling you this to stress you out. This for me, I want this to be like, I want this to be everything. I want to freaking retire my husband. He's a restaurant manager. He works long hours. He, a lot of times when I was working, I was, he was sleeping when I left and I was sleeping when he got home. And now it's beautiful because I can work my schedule. Like tonight he went in ugh, 12 to 12. And so I, as soon I spent the morning with him, we like clean together, watch some TV. And then when he goes to work, I'm getting all my stuff done. Because, you know, in the other way, even when he's in the morning, I'm getting all my stuff done in the morning and then I spend my time with him. And that's what I have worked so hard to be able to do. And that's why I really enjoy it. But I want to take it one step further and I want to retire him and let him come home and help me with the business. I mean, he could easily help his, his parents' business on the side, like literally working from home. It's not something he can do right now financially, but it's something that I want him to do in the future because... I'm tired of going to weddings as a newlywed, as McDonald, party of one. You know, my parents live in Pennsylvania. We live in Charlotte. They have probably met him five times, and we've been dating, like, together over four years. It's awful, you know, like, to think, like, somebody I love so much, and he is such a, you know, job that he is a slave to, that the people I love don't even get to know him because of his stupid job. And it just like brings me to tears so much to think about how much I, he's missed and how much, you know, he, he barely knows our nieces on my side because I only see them when I go home. So there's so many things to my story that you need to figure out what your why is. And that's, what's going to push you to work. I'm not going to take a day off because if I can think about and picture and staying home or coming to Pennsylvania with me for a week and not even worrying about taking off work, that is why I do it when I don't feel like doing it. And when you feel like you don't have time, you make the time because you need to figure out what your why is. And it needs to be like, I can't skip that because I'm going to do this. Not to say that you need to be like working 12 hours a day, but if you can't give an hour a day when you, I know you're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or, you know, wasting time with crap TV, I chose to turn the TV off. I chose to not scroll through Facebook and do these other things because you need to think about your why and realize, and if you're not, you know, consistent, your why is probably not big enough. So in our Dash to Diamond group, they talked about making a why list. And I loved that so much. Like, what's your why list? Maybe your why isn't big enough, but what could Beachbody do for you that's going to make you want to work it? And so that could be be debt free, pay for my car in cash, you know, make this awesome list of what money from Beachbody could do for you or the freedom could do for you and make that your non-negotiable of why you're going to make time each day. Um, and that was a really great takeaway I had from that. So number four, which I've already kind of talked, touched on is consistency. You need to be consistent and post every day on Facebook and Instagram if you're using that. 
Um, you don't need to vomit beach body every day and every post. You need to also put in, you know, your personal stuff. I'm always posting about silly stuff my dog has done, you know, things like that. Um, you think about five things that you're passionate about and, and talk about that, you know, maybe running or animals or like a TV show, you know, whatever. So things that you're passionate about, write down five things and then me one second. And then, um, go off that and make sure you're talking about those five things regularly throughout, you know, your post as well. So put a Facebook posting schedule together and Corey is really great with this. She took this from the imitate my Instagram. I remember at coach Toberfest, you were like, Monday is this and Tuesday is this and Wednesday is that, you know, and I was like, Oh, well, sorry, all that. And I finally, I think it was like after that, that I was like, I need a Facebook posting schedule and I need to stick with that. And Corey's very good at that. So she can always talk, talk to you about that. But what I did yesterday in my group is I said, because I, I make this very important for our coaches. And I said, post your Facebook posting schedule to, to below. I'd love to, to see that. So I'll give you a quick example of mine. Monday morning, I'm going to post something motivational or, or inspirational. At lunch, I'm going to share a recipe. And at dinner, I'm going to post about a challenge group. Tuesday is a transformation Tuesday in the morning. doesn't have to be me. It might be a client. It might be, you know, whoever. And then at lunchtime, I'm going to do something personal or something about the dog. And then at dinner, I'm going to share a workout video. Wednesday, I'm in a morning, I'm going to put an active photo with a quote. I'm going to ask a question at lunchtime. Asking questions is awesome because when people respond to that, um, you know, it doesn't have to be health and fitness related. It can be... Um, Ooh, okay. We have to end in 10 minutes. Um, oh, did you see that too? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, whatever you need to do, just make it out, make it, it on writing so that instead of being like, oh crap, it's 10 PM and I haven't posted yet. You can be like, oh, I need to post this. Oh, I need to post that. So that was really helpful too. And nobody is going to say, oh, do you remember the April that post you made six months ago about that um, shake? I'd love more information. <laughs> Nobody's going to say that. So be consistent because people don't always see your posts. Don't think that just because you're making it, everyone on your Facebook list sees it. You try different times, but be consistent. Um, and then the fifth one is referrals. I get a lot of people from referrals and when I start to get referrals from people, I one talk to them about the coaching opportunity because I would love for them to get the commission from their friends. But, um, there's plenty of people that are just like, no, I want you to be my coach. I'm not ready for that right now. And so I'll take the referrals, but, um, I do a referral, um, incentive. So I had one of my girlfriends, she gave she sent me her sister's number and she said, Hey, my, my sister wants 21 day fix. I told her to order it from you. <laughs> so, um, I don't even know her sister. I started texting her and then she ordered a challenge pack. And so I asked for, um, you know, my friend's email address. They said, I have a referral program. I I'm so appreciative that you sent your sister my way. What's your address? So I sent her a, a sample of Shakeology and then I had like some R and R which is the rest and recovery from P90X. So, you know, even if it's just a Shaco sample, I sent her that and a thank you note because I just, I love that people refer me, you know, and tell people about it. So if they're, and this girl has no interest in being a coach. So if you're not interested in being a coach, that's fine. But I want to, I want you to know how much I appreciate your business. And I would love to either make you a coach or continue to get your business <laughs> from your friends in the future. So I always do that. Um, word of mouth is just so awesome. I get a lot of people that I don't know but they, um, maybe their friend liked my post and so then they see it. And that's why it's so important to be consistent and to add value. Think to yourself, does this add value every time before you post? Um, talking and bitching about the traffic or the terrible day you had is not gonna help yourself or anybody else. So just erase it all and if you are making a post and you end it with hashtag rant over, you should probably delete it all because you don't <laughs> say it is how I think. So. Um, you know, to talk about being positive and things, people have so much negativity in their life, they need the positivity. And that's why people are drawn to me is because I focus on positive and adding value. Um, and so that when people like your post and comment with your post, they're going to see other people are going to see that in their, their feed as well. And that's how, especially with my like page, a lot of people find me through other people liking my posts. 
So always just putting valuable information out there, you know, whether it's sharing a recipe, it doesn't even have to be your recipe, you can Google a recipe, copy the paste picture, put it in there, you know, copy the recipe, put it in there, and then at the end I just say, found this gem at, and I put the website. But it looks like an original post, because original posts get more interaction versus shared posts, that's just the way Facebook works. They want you to post using their platform and not share things. So, and then just the three vital behaviors. It's just, I can't even tell you how important the three vital behaviors are. Just, just do them. <laughs> um, the last bit of advice I wanted to give you is that when you have a busy life, I had three jobs when I first started. And what I did was I um, listened to my personal development in the car on the way. And then at lunch, I sent my five messages and my five follow-up messages that I already had written out in my planner. And then on the way home, I either had coach call, prospective coach calls or prospective customer calls. I always got on the phone with people because you can laugh, you can communicate, and it's um, so much easier that way to, to really get to connect to people instead of being like, who's this random chick from Instagram trying to sell me <laughs> stuff? So, um, yeah, so basically just be the, do the three vital behaviors and make sure your contact list is always growing. And um, if you guys can implement the free groups, that's something that I've had a lot of success with. So. That's all I got. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Um, I yeah, love you're welcome. I love the contact list mm -hmm. because I too um, am not as good as I should be um, with that. Um, and actually in the diamond call, that's something that I took away from that. So something, um, you know, just to keep some more structure. And I like that you plan ahead in your planner and um, you know, create who you're going to talk to the next day. So it's already laid out and you're not kind of like fumbling, Oh, who do I need to call today? Or who do I need to reach out to today? Or having that tracking system makes such a difference. It does. Um, awesome. Um, I just wanted to see if any of the girls had any questions. I, they're all muted right now, but if you girls want to unmute yourselves and if you have any questions for April. Is it going to automatically shut off? What did that little... I think it just stops no. recording. I don't know because it's done that. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like trying to hurt the end. I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to get cut off? <laughs> yeah, I, I would love, more than happy to answer any questions anybody has. Go ahead, Emily. Do you have one? Oh, hold on. Can you hear her? Because I can't hear her. No. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can hear you. Yeah, oh, no, I totally lost my whole thing. Okay. Um, what, kind, what personal development did you listen to as far as, was it audiobooks or was it videos on YouTube or what? Um, a little bit of everything. Everything, if I was in the car, I did audiobooks because video is one of the things that sucks your data up the most. <laughs> I found this out one month after I was watching like video after video on YouTube on my drive, um, you know, kind of listening to it. So for me, I was always doing audiobooks. Um, you can find them like super cheap off Amazon, a lot of them. I love GoPro. I love Car Smart by Shalene Johnson, and I love anything by John C. Maxwell or Jim Rohn. They're great. Um, but the really cool thing is that if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the podcast. Um, if you search Body, it comes up Team Beach Body. It's got like a white background, and um, all of the national wake-up calls are in there, as well as all of the talks and seminars from Summit last year which the summit talks are so valuable. They're so valuable. Like take notes when you listen to those. So like I have a droid, but I have the iPad. So I list, I, if you are on Wi-Fi with the podcast and you download them, then you can listen to them anywhere without Wi-Fi, without using your data. So that's what I did. And I would just kind of use my headphones with my iPad um, because the national wake up calls at 11, I could never make. And national wake up calls are really great. They're awesome. Um, and if they're older national wake up calls, a little trick. I mean, if they're from last month, the, listening to the specials aren't going to help you. So I, you can fast forward like, you know, a couple minutes into get into the call and then they only end up being like 30, 35 minutes. So it was kind of perfect for my commute. Um, but I, I personally love audiobooks because I don't know why, even when I was in grad school, I almost feel bad 
reading like when I have other things to do and it sometimes it just stresses me out and it's silly but I just am like oh but there's so many other things I could be doing so I love to do it in the car because then I feel like I'm multitasking or something so right now I even do it when I'm folding laundry or doing something that I don't want to be doing which is usually <laughs> like laundry because I hate laundry and I swear we go I don't know how we have so much we don't have kids I don't get it <laughs> but <laughs> um so, yeah, I just do it whenever I'm in the car or if I'm getting ready. You know, anytime where you're doing something mindless, I always put it on. Um, and then if you've never listened to You Are a Badass, that's awesome. And that is, like, my, like, guilty pleasure. Like, I want to do that when I'm in a bubble bath. Like, I'm not even joking. I've t I took, like, three bubble baths the last two weeks like, just to, like, listen to You Are a Badass because I'm like, this is making me feel awesome and I'm taking a bubble bath. This is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, those are a couple. <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> Thank you. Does that help? Yeah. I, have, I have a long drive to work and I, sometimes I just get lost as far as what to listen to or like, cause YouTube, there's so many different videos and stuff. And I'm like, where, what do I, what's better? What's, you know, going to help me more. Have you ever heard of Coach Caleb? No. On YouTube? Okay, Caleb Thomas is a beach body coach. He has short little videos. They're like five minutes or less. He's freaking adorable. He's so funny and he's so cute and hilarious. So he makes beach body like business stuff really understandable. People are like, what's a right leg? What's a left leg? I'm like, I will confuse the crap out of you if you <laughs> listen to me explain it listen to Caleb, his is four minutes long and he like is very visual. So he's got like people popping up. So, you know, he can understand things. So 